Hey, welcome back. I'm Ellie. We are going to build this extravaganza today. Well, we're going to start it. Anyway, this is 2022's most amazing set. It's not even 2022. <laughs> this is the Lego Friends Main Street building. It is the biggest Lego Friends set to date. And the first thing I need to remember to say is thank you to Lego for sending this to me. It was unexpected. It was a lovely surprise. And may it be the first of many. And it's never going <laughs> to I could gawk and dream, but it's so lovely to get this as a Christmas surprise. Thank you, Lego. So, as I mentioned, this is the biggest Lego Friends set so far. It's 1,682 pieces. It's $230 here in Australia, so the most expensive Lego Friends set to date as well. There are 12 numbered bags, but there are 13 bags because there's two nines. So there's a little nine bag, and there are two unnumbered bags with big plates and stuff in them so this is the this is like the, the instructions they've got their own little cardboard shipper just like the fancy sets oh my gosh so no bent books how many books are in here this is okay so this is the sheet of stickers we will examine them as we put them on okay one two three this is insane four five how many books are here? So it looks like you can build each particular, like, so this is modular. You can break it apart. You can put it, it's, it's going to end up being an apartment building. There are, there's 10 books. So you can choose, oh, that picture's familiar. Okay, we'll have a look though. We'll have a look as we go. But you can build whichever apartment you want to first. It doesn't matter. Just pick a book and start there. But we are starting with the mini dolls and there are eight of them. I'm going to grab all of them out of the bag so we can have a look at them at the beginning. The first one here is Joshua, a new adult male character. You hold on to your hats. There are so many. There's so much diversity in here. So many new characters. So he's got a new top, new box bottom well new colors his face is the same as we've seen before Henry has his face James has a face Prince Eric has his face but he's a new character when you put it all together so very nice we have got Joshua that's number one <laughs> next is another adult male character this one has got the new reddish brown colored torso like I said, diversity tick. You are doing so well, Lego. He's got a coral scarf, white top with some green lime green swirls on the front. No lime, lime green swirls on the back. No printing on the back. Do we have the new torso? Oh no, I can still see the little arm pegs inside. So they don't have that sealed torso that the girls and the adult females have yet. Looks like they're not gonna do that. But look at this, brand new head, <laughs> Trevor. And I need him, I need some hair for him somewhere. Oh my gosh, I just love this. All right, so Trevor, Joshua, let's move him over because the third of our characters, so I'm doing these in order of the books as well, is a new micro doll. She's got the cutest little dress on, blue dress with a coral cloud and a sun peeking out the back. Lovely new face print. Is it a new face print? Yeah, I think it is. And brown pigtails. This is Maya, which is weird because before the reboot, there was already a Lego Friends Maya character in the Dolphin Cruiser. But anyway, so this is, as far as I can tell, this is a perfect little family. So first up, we have got a diverse little family to add to the apartment. I love it so much. They're just moving in too because we got the truck to build. There's a moving truck. They're literally getting their moving crates out. So next mini doll is Stephanie. She is in her new default outfit. So we're going to see this outfit quite a bit. I think over 2022 is nice to have a new outfit. She's grubby on the arm. Hold on. Oh, that seems to be ingrained there. We'll see if I can fix that later. So uh, yeah, we've seen the outfit before, but we're going to see it a lot more now. So pink dress with the silver vest over the top. But this, this is exciting. She has got a brand new hairpiece with the beanie attached. So beanie with hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Stephanie. I'm very excited though. So beanie with hair. And this is a hard hairpiece. And a lot of, uh, a lot of people don't really like the rubbery hair pieces. So this one is hard and it seems to be staying on her head beautifully. It looks so good. She actually looks a bit older then uh, with, with this hair I just I love it it's so true to Stephanie next we have got isn't this fun next we've got Dottie we've seen Dottie before she is Ethan's grandma uh, she's got the same outfit that she had on before though I think her torso is the new mold but it's got the same print on it same face that we've seen before she has still got gray hair but she doesn't have the funky hairstyle that she had in the diner set 
which is a shame now she's just got generic grandma hair she looks cute but before she was funky cute so but she's joined by a brand new dog brand new dog mold a scotty a little scottish terrier this is brand new for the friends line and i love it look it's like a little walking curtain <laughs> so underneath is hollow you can fit I think that's going to fit over a couple of studs. So cute. I believe this dog belongs to Dottie, but I, I have no idea really. This is just how I'm making it happen. Next, new character. We are resplendent with new characters. New colour for the skirt and the shoes. New coloured top two with really nice coral lightning strikes on it. No printing on the back, but the little sleevey things go around to the back. I think this is a brand new face. Uh, with dark brown eyes and little 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 slanty smile but I'm not sure <laughs> I can't remember uh, blue funky hair now this according to the box is Evelyn I believe that she's Dottie's grandma no she's Dottie grandma and Dottie is her grandma so she is Dottie's granddaughter so which means she's related to Ethan in some way so yeah interesting now next up we have got Savannah we have seen Savannah or Savannah I don't know how to pronounce it Savannah let's go with Savannah let's have a nice potter she's wearing exactly the same outfit that she was wearing in the two sets from 2021 same uh, head but brand new hair piece once again her with a hat <laughs> oh my gosh oh I like oh I didn't notice so much Oh, it is the same as Stephanie's. There is a lot of... So this is a hard hair mold as well. There's actually there's actually quite a bit of space between the front of the hair and the back of the hair and the shoulders, which makes me think that this is going to fit on minifigures as well. Like this massive gap there. So it makes me think that this hair piece was designed to definitely fit on minifigures comfortably too. So don't be surprised if we see this turn up in the minifigure sets because they're going to want all of these because these are hot. Now, <laughs> hey, minifigure people, we got it first. This is Savannah's uh, guide dog. Cause, oh, I forgot to mention, Savannah is visually impaired, which we already knew from the previous sets that she was in. Another new character. <laughs> so, new orange shirts, new purple. Okay, double molded. So that's orange underneath. Uh, new purple shoes. Torso on this character. So this is a girl. This is cute. She almost like the color scheme makes me think that it's like Mia. The stripes do not go all the way around the back. So turquoise shirt with purple stripes, a little bit off the shoulder. Face is kind of nondescript color eyes. What color eyes would you call that? Same smile as Evelyn. And then mm, nice light pink hat mold. We've seen this before, but not in this color. And there's also the little dark orange cat, which we've seen in a couple of sets to kitten. Actually, kitten. Have you seen the new Lego City kittens? Oh my gosh, I need to have them. However, Harper needs some building before we go on. She needs a wheelchair to get around. So let's build that so that she is comfortable. And then we will have met all of the mini dolls you've got to admit that they are a diverse bunch so exciting her wheelchair is super bright and colorful i love it okay pop is ready let's uh let's get everybody in here so we can have a look no that's not gonna <laughs> get everyone in all the animals oh there's one more animal but it's part of the build so we'll meet that animal as we go along Eight mini dolls, so much new to look at here. 2022 is the place to be. Main Street building is the place to be. Now, Joshua comes in the first bag. This is where we're starting. I mentioned that he is unpacking. So the first thing that he gets is a crate, a packing crate with the with the like with the proper stuff on it. He's unpacking kitchenware, which is ironic because he actually there is no kitchen in the apartment. <laughs> Might have to be doing some modifying. Got the new fork mold in it that we saw in the Madrigal house. So he's got his crate of kitchenware now we get to build the very first thing for the very first book which is the moving truck and I've mentioned before that I don't particularly love building vehicles but this one is really uh, a generic kind of and I don't mean that in a bad way I think that I I don't know how to describe it but I just like it I like the lines I like the ridiculously loud colors um because, oh, there's roller skates in the side so we roller skates silver roller skates on either side why we'll find it as we continue building so yeah moving truck lots of great colors which could go with anybody's lego city I don't know what dlc 22 stands for like downloadable content 22 that doesn't make any sense it must mean something i love these stickers the moving truck stickers once again very generic they will fit into 
any of your city builds. And there's room in the back for the for, yeah, for the crate. There's room in the front just for one person, which is fine. I mean, you don't need more. And we need four wheels, obviously, to make this go. So let's put them on and then the truck will be finished and the roller skates are actually the door handles. <laughs> we'll have another look at that in a moment. Oh my goodness. All right, this is the front of the truck. Look at those colors. <gasps> New printed piece has got, so this is an electric truck, DLC 22 again. I wonder what that means. Tell me, somebody tell me. Okay, look at those roller skates. They are the door handles. These are our extra pieces at the end of this bag. So we got some really useful extra pieces. And now we're up to bag number two, which means we can start building the very first room, which is the one Trevor comes in. I gave him the wrong hair. Sorry about that, but I did get confused. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Right, first part of the Main Street building, let's do this. So I mentioned before that this is a modular apartment building, which puts you in mind of the creator modular sets as well, because it's apartments, buildings, and has the word modular in it. But there are a lot of, ooh, there are a lot of similarities. So we have a wheelchair access ramp. The front entryway is tiled with gray and blue tiles. Got some nice big windows. Oh, including this three by one window. Oh, new door pieces. So this splits open in the middle. Oh, nice. And I'm going to guess that we're using this because it would be big enough for the wheelchair to get through. So I'm going to check that. Let's see. Where's our wheelchair? So let's give this. So she wouldn't fit through there. Yeah, that's that's my guess as to why we're using the really big door window piece and have these new split in the middle door pieces. I love it. All right. On the inside, let's see what we have got. So big mint panel has got oh beauty shop. Oh, the text, the font for the beauty shop is the same as the butterfly beauty shop. I can't speak from the very first wave of Lego friends. So we have got some Easter eggs hiding in here. Okay. All right. So this is, this is the, the beauty shop, the hair salon, which Trevor is in charge of. Uh, we have got some hair. We've got a cash register. We've got some money. What else are we going to be fitting in here? Ooh, very nice. Trans pink round. That's the hair washing basin. So they, everything's sitting on jumper studs. So they're going to be easy to remove and also to move around if you wish to rearrange everything inside here. On the other side, we're putting small jumper studs down. So obviously we're going to be putting small furniture on these. Another big mint panel. This one has got... What else? That picture with the red hair. Oh, it's the same as the first hair salon sign, except it's a different color scheme. Same look though. I like it. I don't know whether that's supposed to be an Easter egg, but but we've, it's just, yeah, oh, I don't know, but <laughs> we're definitely reusing things we've seen before. So here we have got that other piece of hair, that other hair piece that I uh, mucked up before. It's not Trevor's, but he can swap it out and he can do whatever, whatever he dang well pleases. Little table to go underneath the, the window, no, underneath the mirrored section. And of course now we're going to need a good sized salon chair. Now we have had uh, two hair salons so far in the Lego Friends line, but this one is you know sitting at the bottom the bottom of the actual apartment buildings we can move that chair around wherever you want to put it you can go over to the basin now what else do we need nice big light to go over the door and i think we've fitted everything inside that we possibly can so working on the top now lots of nice turquoise pieces they're very tasty <laughs> it's concerning isn't it i get very excited about colors <laughs> And down here we have got a broom for, you know, salon duties, a hairdryer in trans pink and a brush and some scissors and a bottle of some sort of goo. And we are equipped, ready for the salon, just needs a sign out the front. Oh, and oh, I don't know what goes on here. Oh, nice. Some big lanterns for either side. Oh, over those windows with the uh, with the display hair. Now a garden bed for the for the walkway on the front, and on the other side where there are jumper studs, a little park bench. That's so nice. All right. Oh, and we get a lamppost. No way. This is cool. All right. It is really like building a, a, a really colorful version of the Lego Creator modular apartments. All right. So this is what we've got at the end of this bag. We're up to bag number three, which is predominantly yellow. So strap yourselves in. Right. Okay. So this one's going to go. I mean, you can arrange these however you like. According to the, to the box, this next one, this next room i'm just trying to get these straight so these are the ornamentations on the front this room is supposed to sit on top of the hairdresser salon and this is so so yellow 
This is a bathroom! Oh, nice! Okay, and going along here, we've got some blue jumper studs and smooth bits over here, so there's gonna be a bit of furniture. This has got, this window frame's got a white panel in it as well for another sticker. And this gives some more detail to the bathroom with a scent diffuser and a potted plant. And I assume that that is a mirror. I don't know what the little yellow thing is with the circles, but we are tiling the base down here. And now, okay, so uh, hand basin in the corner. I'm trying to think, what's up that above the toilet? Oh, they're the toilet buttons, maybe. So the big and the small flush, that's what it is. Okay, all right. Next sticker is a picture of Maya. Look, see, it's definitely a picture of Maya, though she does have darker hair. And she's got a yellow teddy. I want you to take note of that because tell me where the yellow teddy turns up later. Nice flower underneath there on the side table. Door to the bathroom. So the bathroom's. There are places to stand in there. There's just enough space, so it's nice. This is a sliding window or a big sliding door. Holy moly. There's not anywhere really to slide out to, <laughs> just to let some air in, I suppose. Another one of these three paneled window door pieces, uh, big, big window pieces that I like so much. We haven't seen them for a while and now they're coming back. They were in the uh, Queer Eye, yeah, Queer Eye set. So that was good. We hadn't seen them for a while before then. Okay, lining the top. So we are almost done with here, except we do need a very nice big shower head. And look at that. We're just going to get Trevor in here to make sure <laughs> that a mini doll can actually fit in there. It's pokey, but the, yeah, they do fit, so that's good. And now we have got a bed, but the bedspread is buildable, and we've got a folded back, <laughs> folded back little, uh, little quilt, little green quilt on it, and it's so comfy. Look at that. That is actually that mini doll sits on there really really nice and comfortably that's that was really hard to say those are our pieces extra pieces at the end of that bag this sits now on top of look at that you <laughs> fall straight out that enormous window oh my gosh <laughs> so it sits straight on top of the hair salon so that oh, it's gonna be so good we're up to bag number four lots of blue everybody now this is the bag that maya comes in check her teddy bear wish it was yellow like the picture because that would be cool but we got a brown teddy bear so i'll never complain about that I'll never complain you can never have enough teddies so this is starting in the same configuration as the yellow floor except this one has got yellow ornamentation and the other one had blue ornamentation just trying to make sure they're straight otherwise it's gonna bug me it looks like we're gonna have another sliding window back here because we've got those brown no they're not brown gray gray smooth tiles at the back like we did on the floor below a giraffe picture for the wall has that giraffe been in anything before I don't know I don't think so it doesn't even look like the Duplo giraffe Okay, so maybe it's a brand new giraffe and it's not an Easter egg after all. Getting some yellow tiles on and this is, don't know, oh, it's a teeny tiny bed. So this is Maya's bedroom. She has got a yeah, little single bed with pink cloudy bedspread and that is detachable. It's on jumper studs too, so you can put it wherever you please. Another packing crate. So we get another one of these stickers so we know which way the right way up is. So this one hasn't been unpacked yet. This one's holding her hair accessory. <laughs> so look at that. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that they're just moving in here. I think that is just the cutest detail. So it's even got its own little spot there. It's going to be not unpacked forever <laughs> at this rate, the rate that I unpack stuff. And uh, making a lovely rug on the side with alternating yellow and pink tassels to put some play equipment on, some toys for Maya's room. So a tiny buildable doll's house. We've already built doll's house in this style before for the gingerbread house in one of the advent calendar builds. Trying to find a spot to put the teddy. There's another little jumper stud on the front, which is for a... What's that? So that's supposed to be a car? I'm assuming that's supposed to be a car. Has no wheels. We could have had some roller skates. Could be anything. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But this is exciting. Look at this wall. The wall is getting a rainbow. A, it's, it's being painted rainbow and you can see the rainbow on the inside and the outside. Now I am calling this the rainbow apartment because we've got our little rainbow family living in here. It's just so absolutely perfect. I just adore this detail. I want this rainbow wall featured. I want to be able to see it when I put everything together. I hope I can. Okay, we've got our sliding door on and now we're smoothing over the top, putting on the jumper studs. It's going so well. This one, because this is going to be the top one of this level, but I mean you can mix and match these however you like. I just like to see that I can take all this stuff in and out. This one uh, is supposed to go on the very top 
and just trying to figure out that these where these are supposed to go. We've got some solar panels, which is nice. Energy conscious going on. So this can go up here. But if you want to put more levels on underneath, you just pull it off and then you can put this one on the very top, the solar panel roofy bit. So let's put it on what we have so far. So we've got three levels. They are crazy colorful, but you know what? Somehow it works and that rainbow wall just ties it all in so beautifully together. <laughs> Love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have got, we've moved one family in. We have got the hairdressing salon down the bottom and we are up to bag number five. So this is an ideal time to take a break, check back in for the next part of this build. You're not going to want to miss it. It just keeps getting better. So sorry, I know you're shouting at me, but I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, see you again for the next part of the build soon. Subscribe, do all the things. Tell me what you think so far. I'll see you soon. Bye.